From aircon systems to kitchen goods, TVs and smartphones, every year we throw away more and more electrical appliances. According to a UN report, the world produced over 53 million tonnes of electronic waste in 2019, equivalent in weight to 350 cruise liners. Europe was the area with the highest volume of e-waste per capita. Income growth, urbanisation and increased mobility are leading to a constant increase in demand for electronic products. Many of them have a very short lifespan. As a result, e-waste is growing faster than any other kind of refuse. Last year, just 17.4% of e-waste was recycled. A sizeable proportion of phased-out electronic products are exported illegally and end up on unregulated landfills, dumps and scrapyards in Eastern Europe, Asia and Africa. The UN assumes that the vast majority of non-recyclable waste is not disposed of appropriately. Electronic waste contains significant amounts of hazardous substances that contaminate the land, air and water and can cause serious health problems. Up to 50 tonnes of the highly toxic heavy metal mercury are released into the environment every year. They're joined by chemicals that are used to cannibalise old equipment. Two thousand and nineteen also saw a major increase in the number of discarded air conditioning systems and refrigerators. Their disposal caused the release of around ninety eight million tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Electronic devices also contain valuable metals such as copper, iron, and aluminium, as well as gold and rare earths. In total, the value of natural resources in e waste last year amounted to fifty seven billion u s dollars. Only a small fraction of annual e-waste is recycled. This means that the quantity of raw materials extracted to keep up with ever-increasing consumer demand continues to grow.